All right, this is going on JVTV2. And for no, those of you who are new to JVTV2, subscribe, because I put a lot of what I think is going to be the most... It's not even controversial. It's just YouTube's algorithm. They're fucking bunch of assholes and stuff like that. So uh, I think this is going to be a little bit of a controversial topic just because of the way I feel about it. So I'm going to put it over here. And hey, welcome. Subscribe. Like, subscribe. The banner's below... Okay, no, it's not. Maybe it's... Is it to the side? I don't know how you do it. I, someone's got to give me a computer lesson and fast. I've tried to do this sh shit from my fucking cell phone. Sexy Monkey gave me a tutorial. He showed me links. I know now Google Hangouts is StreamYard. I'm confused. I don't get it. I can't invite anybody because I have to have a laptop near me. Buy me one. All right. So Laura Spencer. <clears throat> I heard the name Laura Spencer for the past like week and I had no idea. She sounds like a novelist. Does that? Laura Spencer presents Sunset Summer, a silky sexual tale involving... Old people who still realize they have sexual organs and can get it on, but due to lack of moisture and proper lubrication, naturally, they end up stuck together. But that summer they're stuck together, genital to genital, they'll never forget. Like, some kind of, she sounds like an author. All right, so Laura Spencer has a show on Good Morning America with Michael Shrebajan. What is that the guy, is the tall basketball, football guy? I don't know. I hear his name a lot, Michael Strahan. I don't know who he is. I know he was on Live with Kelly... Live with Lollipop Head, the bitch. Such a bitch. I hate Kelly Ripper. She's such a bitch. You see that shit lately? I know, I'm always off on a tangent, but her and Ryan, Ryan Seacrest had an announcement that they're best friends. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised Ryan Seacrest and her are just bestest friends on the planet. I just not there to go shoe shopping and they love each other. They're probably just not when he gets to see her coochie. He's like, oh, oh, don't change in front of me. It makes me cry. He's straight. What am I talking about? No, he's not. You've blown more guys than I have. That didn't sound right. No, more guys than myself have. I'll get back to the English on that. I'm kidding. So anyway, Laura Spencer was doing a, a, a piece on Prince. Is his name Georgie? I don't keep up with the Royals. I don't, we really, I got to say again, Brits, we think it's ridiculous. I mean, we really do. Listen, we have a ridiculous president. Don't, don't get me wrong. We got our own fucked up shit over here. We never understood it. I told you, when like the time I was a kid, till I was about 10 or 12, I thought the Royals ruled your country. I thought the king was, queen was like the president or something like that. And then slowly but surely I found out they do nothing but wave at events. Why are they still there? I mean, rise up. Take over the castle. Sell it. You guys can get a lot more money for whatever you need. You can fix Brixton up. See? You can do a lot of shit with that. So Laura Spencer, the, the Prince Edward, the ginger one, had a baby. Or somebody had a baby. Okay. No, it's a really, it's a really bald one with the buck teeth. That's a cruel... That's a cruel trick, isn't it? They're brothers, and one of them is fucking thoroughly bald and not hot at all, and the other one's a, like a really decent-looking guy and with a hot girlfriend, and, you know, he's got Miss Pris next to him, the Edward or whatever his name is, Joe. I forget. Uh, isn't it Philip and Edward? I don't know. Whatever. So the oldest son has a kid, a little kid. I think his name is George or something like that. Adorable kid. You know, nice, good-looking little child. He's going to have everything in life handed on, handed to him on a silver fucking platter. Laura Spencer was doing a, just what should have been a routine news story where she's like, and, you know, when we add to the list of other things that uh, the royal son is going to do, again, why are we care, especially over here? We don't give a fuck. I have never once met anybody who'd be like, oh, my God, the royals are coming. I have to be downtown because they might I might spot them at a store. No, you get that for basketball players, rappers, and fucking actors and actresses. The royals, they could walk right by me. I'd be like, just, you know, stay in your space. Don't get too close to me. I don't like people too close to me. I don't give a fuck she's a royal. Bow to who? Bow to who? Bow, I'll bow if I have to fart, and I'll do it this way. How about that? Fuck you. So Laura Spencer was basically talking about the itinerary of this little boy who is, what is he, two? What's his itinerary? Wake up, pee himself, try to learn how to hit the potty, try to learn how to make poopy, read a book, attempt to read, go back to nap time. Wake up, bother parents later, that's it. What, what's his itinerary? Is he three or something like that? Oh, if he's three, his itinerary is wake up, learn to poop, act the ass all day, sleep, wake up when parents are sleeping, act the ass again. That's the itinerary. So she was like, you know, and um, also, and I guess this is the way she did it. I watched a clip. She's like, he also has a newfound interest, which is um, a ballet. And she waited for a laugh and the audience gave her a laugh. And then Rosie O'Donnell and everybody else and their fucking mother went crazy. It's like, how dare she make fun of me? She's a homophobe. She's bullying. She's a bully. That bullying bitch. I hate her. Boo. I'm gonna, let's go find the nearest senior citizen home and see who sat in her diaper the longest. Get the diaper and smash it in that bitch's face. And she's just this blonde. Listen, she doesn't have a thought. She reads off a teleprompter. She's lucky she can read. 
I mean, I'm surprised she could do that much. And so she's made an apology, but there was this big thing about it. These celebrities are saying, well, you know, Patrick Swayze did ballet. Lots of men do ballet. And all these little ballet dancers, men came out and like, I do ballet and I'm more fit than anybody else. Watch me. Watch me plie. Ha, I can't do it. Can you, bitch? It's really great for fucking. I'm telling you right now. Like, I can get in some positions where it's like, woo. All right. So what do I think about it? Um, big fucking deal. Seriously, was it a nice thing for her to do? No, she probably wasn't thinking. I doubt she really thought, or maybe she did even. Maybe she's an asshole. Who knows? But Jesus Christ, we get so mad at people nowadays. Did she fucking kill someone and I don't know it? Did she just start smothering kittens like live on the air while she was saying that story? Like, oh, oh. In other news, you know, Prince Georgie or whatever the fuck his name is, he likes to dance ballet like a little faggot. <laughs> it's gonna bleed his eyes are gonna pop out I keep doing this like is she doing something weird like that then we can be mad at her she said something a little messed up the end don't fucking get crucified I'm again I keep saying like when are we just gonna get bring back the Jesus times so let's just crucify people put nails in there but you gotta do it through the wrist because that was bullshit I found that not in the bible because your hands would just rip right off so yeah let's get her through the wrist let's put her up there get the crown of thorns she'll be a martyr she'll be happy someday it makes no fucking sense who gives a shit? And for all these celebrities like Rosie O'Donnell and all these... Because I've defended Rosie O'Donnell before. Rosie O'Donnell needs to shut the fuck up. First of all, you look more and more like a PE teacher. I mean, I, it's getting scary with you. Like, don't you try a little bit? I mean, she... You know, she's been okay looking at times. Like, the face and the fucking hair, it scares the shit out of me. I'm just being completely honest. Nothing against her being gay or a lesbian. I support her a thousand percent. If somebody said something fucked up to her about it, I'd be on their ass. But she jumps on every little thing and that annoys me about it. She jumped on this Laura Spencer. She's like, really, Laura Spencer? Really? Lots of people are dancers. It's homophobic. You're a bully. You're a bully, Laura Spencer. She's not a bully. She didn't go punch a little kid in the crotch and take his, you know, snacks. She didn't do anything. She did a fucked up thing, said something about ballet. And I know what the subtext is. That all ballet dancers who are men are gay. I mean, not all of them are gay. Obviously, there's exceptions to every rule. But, oh, come on. Are we going to play pretend here that, like... In our opinion, or the ballet dancers I've met, and there hasn't been that many, to be honest with you, but the ones I've met have attributes that lead me to believe they are homosexual. Who cares? I, 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 I think it's something that homosexuals lean toward. I'm, oh, this is going to get me in so much trouble. I don't care. But I'm not saying that I didn't think Patrick Swayze was gay. I don't think a lot of them are gay. If my son or whatever wanted to go to ballet, I'd be like, why don't you get a dress, little girl? Huh? Huh? Yeah, your name is Tim. Why don't we just call you Tammy from now on? Huh? Daddy's little girl wants you to go. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't care. If it's something they enjoy doing and it is athletic and I'm sure I couldn't do any of it. I'm positive. I saw Black Swan with that bitch fucking, she was losing toenails and shit doing that. No, no, no. Uh, okay, you guys are great. You're, you're awesome. But there are certain fields where when people tend to drift towards them, they're more likely to be gay. Hairdressers who are men, gay. Nine times out of ten, they're gay cuts hair like this and it does this shit and you know fabulous and now that's the spring to me oh you need a highlight nobody does that nobody does it i don't care how butch they are like yeah yeah you know you need new color right here oh tilt your face up you free tonight yeah there are just some you know uh, yeah ballet dancer men a lot of them in my narrow-minded ignorant experience are gay I don't think she's implying the kid's gay. I don't even know. The kid's a kid. Leave the kid alone, okay? She shouldn't have said anything about it. She shouldn't even report it on it because it's boring as shit. All right? That's what I think about it. But, but fucking who gives a fuck? Like, you can't say what you think anymore without being crucified by people as a hate crime or a bully or whatever like that. I think a lot of men who go into ballet are homosexual. There. I said it. I don't give a fuck. I don't think all of them are. You know, there might be two who are just like, why am I doing this again? Like, why... You know, this is weird. Like, why are we... I mean, it's... I mean, you know, I am getting fit. Fuck the gym. Fuck the gym. I mean, seriously. There are a bunch that do it who like doing it. There's nothing wrong with being a ballet dancer. I wouldn't laugh at a guy just because he says he's a ballet dancer. Even though I'm not that much of a dick. You know? I'm trying to think. If he said, you know, he was a circus clown or a mime, I would laugh. Because I'm... Why? Why the fuck would you ever pick that as a vocation? Like, that makes no sense to me. Um, or a jizz mopper. That's, those are pretty funny. I mean, I'm sorry. I, I might judge that a little bit. But yeah, just like, okay, so, yes, I think that she was implying that he might be a little twinkle toes or something like that, so maybe it was a bitchy thing for her to do. Let's just end it there. That's kind of bitchy, Laura Spencer. You're a little bitch. You're being a bitch today. You know, apologize for being a bitch tomorrow. Let's end it. Who cares, all right? I don't care about the royals anyway. I don't care if the kid wants to, you know, 
be a transvestite someday. I don't give a shit. Whatever makes a kid happy, I'm for, all right? And if he wants to be a ballet dancer, fine. And yes, Patrick Swayze, other people who, Brishnikov, all straight men who did ballet and were successful at it. Good for them. I'm happy for them. But you know what? The implication that believing a certain, I should say stereotype, a, they call it a stereotype, but sometimes, come on. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of those guys are gay. They're fucking, you know, they'd be like, you know, on Broadway, you can't find any gay men. Yes, you can. Almost all of them are. Almost all. I'm guaranteeing it right now. Almost all of them are. It's not me being a bad person for saying that. It's just me being like, yeah, they're gay. Who gives a fuck? Like, yeah, woo, yeah. You know, not all of them. Again, there's always exceptions to the rule. People need to understand that. Laura Spencer, you were kind of a dick, though. Like, a little bit of a dick. So she apologized for being a dick. Let's let her go. Let's let her go be blonde and pretend to read the news. And, you know, you know, she's got a, she's got a hand up her ass. She's, you know, somebody's just actually puppeting her. We shouldn't be mad at them. She doesn't have real vocals. It's like somebody's like, so today, that little, you know, sissy boy prince was dancing around. Ha, ha, ha. She, 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 nobody's home. Come on, be nice. 